Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we're going to talk about the one and only book, one book, that I read in May and that is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is a chunk of a book. So I listened to this on audiobook. For those of you guys that don't know, this is a book that came out in 2020 by Stephanie Meyer, which is Twilight from Edward's point of view. Um, so yeah, we're going to spend a minute or two talking about this because this is all I've got for the month. Um, but yeah, so basically I picked this up kind of on a whim. I ended up actually getting the audiobook downloaded from Libby. The um, audiobook was good, but it took me a minute to get into this book. Um, I haven't reread Twilight in quite some time. I think I actually might have reread it during COVID in an attempt to refamiliarize myself with the story before picking this up, and then I just never did. Um, but yeah, I was a diehard Twilight girly back in the day when it came out when I was in middle school. So I like saw all the movies, I had all the books, I was Team Edward, but I loved Jacob. Taylor Lautner, forever and for always, will be one of my childhood crushes. Um, hated the casting of Robert Pattinson, but that remains to be seen. Um, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this book. And I was surprised reading it after all the movies had come out, because I obviously read the books prior to the movies coming out, that I didn't picture Robert Patterson, Kristen Stewart, and Taylor Lautner the whole time I was reading this, which was, like, shocking. Um, so the only casting, surprisingly, that I, like, did put the faces to was Alice and Emmett and Rosalie and Jasper. So like the family basically. Everyone else I kind of pictured my own faces for which was kind of an interesting dynamic for me reading this. It kind of helped me I think dis dispel my disbelief about this being like a movie book. Um, and yeah overall it was very angsty. Very very angsty. This book is just so much teen angst and I kind of forgot because it's been a while since I've read YA books like how dramatic everything is. Like especially for these characters like everything is so high stakes. Everything is so over the top. It's just a lot to read. Um, especially Edward. He is very dramatic. Like just so dramatic. Like everything is life or death. You know vampire wise and it's just like the most energy that he gets exudes and so a lot of it was a little bit challenging to read especially in the beginning when he's like so angsty about Bella and the dynamic and then he like decides that all of a sudden kind of out of the blue he's like deeply in love with her and it's a little bit of emotional whiplash I'm not gonna lie so yeah overall this was actually a really kind of nostalgic read once I got into it I did actually end up enjoying it more than I thought that I would and I'm happy to add it to my collection um but yeah overall it was a lot it was if you love the Twilight books if you were a Twi hard <laughs> back in the day I definitely recommend picking this up just because this was especially something that was so highly anticipated back in the day. I do feel like it might have gotten more ground if she had brought it out closer to kind of the phase of Twilight and the popularity that Twilight had. Um, but you know, either way, I remember this was like leaked back in the day and that's why she didn't end up sharing the full thing. But to have it now, it was nostalgic. It was cute. It definitely filled in some of the gaps of like what I remember missing from Twilight from more his side of things. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I think I ended up giving it three or four stars. It wasn't obviously a literary masterpiece, but definitely a good time regardless. So yeah, that's it. That's all I read in the month of May. I've got a lot more books coming hopefully for June. I feel like I'm back a little bit more in the swing of things. May was just such a busy month with traveling for work and different things like that, birthdays and things of that nature. So feeling back in the swing of things. I feel like I'm, yeah, excited to be back into it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite books were for May. And uh, yeah, I'll be filming some more videos today. So you'll be seeing this again quite soon. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.